Yeah. 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 So what you see here is a, is a, a photo browser, and um, it's it's actually just a normal list. I mean, from an application developer perspective, this is just a list of photos. But we have added a lot of visual sugar to the visualization, so it's, it gives this kind of cinematic experience. And of course, it's full touch. You can look at the uh, and, and look at the different text and, and tags on the photos. And this may look extremely fancy, but it's just a lot of visual sugar, and that's all possible with the cascade. And this, we're, we're baking this stuff right into the core control. So again, you mentioned you're using a list here, populated with images, and some of the, the crazy effects, the shaders, the curves on the on the edges, the drop shadows. This is all. These are all effects that are, are baked into the core framework that you, as a developer, can choose to employ. You need a background in graphics or physics to be able to get access to these kind of experiences. Yeah, I mean, GL is, uh, is a mess. It's, uh, and writing this from scratch in GL would take a lot of right. time, but with this case, this is made simple. So this is this is pretty mind-blowing. Let's take a look at, uh, at some of the other uh, yeah. examples. Yeah, so next one is, uh, is uh, I would say, a little bit more useful. It's also, it shows that how flexible Cascades is. This, this demo uh, uses our, our vertex APIs. Uh, and, and our vertices allows you to create a, a new kind of, of uh, user experience. So this is uh, like an inbox um, with, uh, with, with your contacts, a couple of contacts. And it's a kind of an uh, infographics uh, data visualization of your inbox. So what you see here is my communication. If I zoom out using my uh, pinch gesture, I can see it's my communication. Basically, you see the, I mean, the performance is just seamless. I mean, it just, it just flows. It's yeah. Fluid. And uh, you can see different contacts here. You can see a tag cloud with the trending topics. So I can quickly browse through my, my inbox and see what I was talking about with, with different people uh, and what kind of communication channels you have. Mm -hmm. And I can zoom in and, and see uh, uh, and see how the communication is working. I can, of course, choosing a particular person, in this case Nicole, and see what we were talking about. And all this is, is done using just case. I, I, it's, it's a fully touch enabled user interface, and it has a lot of, uh, a lot of APIs that allows you to create these. I mean, what's, what's really incredible about this for me is it helps to show the vision of how the UI framework can really drive that next generation of experience. So here you've got all your communications, and I think there's a huge data set behind this, something like 300,000 messages yeah. uh, behind this, and yet you're able to very quickly dive right into it, into detail, and you can see the UI framework. And now I'm looking up with every action. More or less individual Facebook updates from Nicole. So it's virtual, and uh, shows a little bit what Cascades can do. Um, but this is still, I mean, not every app will, will look as futuristic as this one. Yep. Uh, we do have a, a set of, of built-in uh, core UI components where we try to bake in uh, interaction design and visual design. I'm going to show uh, very quickly some of the core UI components we are, we are working with. So it's not, it's not just about the, the visual flourish and some of these mind-blowing effects, but every common control, whether it's buttons or lists or containers, we will have available to developers in Cascades for them to reuse in their applications. Right. Not everyone would want to be a, a fancy designer, so, so of course we have sliders and buttons and, and uh, input fields and uh, animations, layouts. Uh, you have it. You name it. It's a very easy to use framework. We have both a declarative view of the framework, meaning it's very you can easily, quick, uh, easily and quick, uh, very quickly create uh, a UI. And at the same time, we have a pure programmatic API if you prefer to work with that. Or if you, you can combine them if you want. Here's another example of, of built-in UI design or an innovation, uh, innovative uh, navigation um, uh, stack that you can use for your application. This is great. Now let's see this in action in a, in a, in a typical app. Yeah, so just because you use these standard components doesn't mean you should limit yourself and, and, and don't use any effects. We can add effects also on these standard stuff. So um, um, as you can see, this is a notes app where we have uh, a, a number of messages like a little suite. It looks pretty, pretty basic, yeah. but still I can add, I've added, in this case I've added a, a delete effect. Uh, that's uh, pretty neat. <coughs> Uh, with animation, I can add an awesome. So you're getting these animations, you're getting the 3D drop shadow. This is all, again, standard in the framework. So as a developer, you're not you know, investing your time and energy to learn physics and graphics. Right, and even in this, you can add, so in this case, I've added a, a filter effect. So I can filter out the items that do not start using a pinch gesture. Very cool. So it's very cool, it's very dynamic, and... Uh, so 
incorporating 3D, some of the mind-blowing effects, but in a very useful way to filter the list. So you're getting that visual cue that it's being filtered. It's going to be amazing to see this in, uh, in the hands of uh, all the developers here. So this is great. Thank you so much for coming and sharing with us. Thank you.